Welcome to the 39th Annual Kilowatt Retro Trivia Thanksgiving Extravaganza. I'm your host, Bodie, and I am here with Rob Dunwood, Steve Sheridan, and Allison Sheridan. How's everybody doing today? Woohoo! Excited to be here. Doing great, Bodie. Thanks for having us. Glad to be here. All right. Well, we are here uh, to chat and have a good time, but we are also here to play a game. And this is going to be a trivia game similar to Jeopardy, but for legal reasons, we are not going to be answering answers with questions. Uh, it, we just have a, a similar style board. So we're going to have a category. So we're going to have six categories with five questions each. This show will be on YouTube, just in case uh, any of the listeners want to know what we look like. And yeah, this is our Thanksgiving extravaganza. Steve and Allison actually participated in the first one. It's not really the 39th annual, uh, in case you were curious. <laughs> Uh, Steve and Allison were actually on the first one where I sat down with Brad and Sierra, uh, my kid and her boyfriend, and we chatted just about EV stuff. And at that time, full self-driving uh, beta was was rolling out and Allison had just got it, but nobody else on the panel had it. Steve didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Damn, driving score. Are you guys ready and gals ready to see our categories? Yes. yes. Let's do it. All right. First category. Here are today's categories. OG Trekkie. Uh-oh. Pretty sure everybody on the panel is a little bit of a Trekkie. Yep. EV Easy. Or Easy EV. <laughs> easy for me to say. So all of these will be EV questions, but not anything really specific to modern EVs. It's not going to be too nerdy. It'll be pretty easy. Duh. <laughs> now... <laughs> this is the one where you have to be snarky. And Allison, this is going to be hard for you, so really try hard. <laughs> I'll, but I'll try to pull it out. You have to answer this as if you're talking to a friend of yours, and they just told you the dumbest thing, and you give them an answer with like, duh. So you don't have to say duh afterwards, but I would like it if you did. And uh, the longer the duh, the better. Okay. <laughs> I ran out of creativity, and I had to get... <laughs> I had to get some blood work today, so I was I was in the office while I was getting blood work in the medical. Office. We have world geography because I oh, really created it. I was really tired. That's terrible. Places the Sheridans have been. Yeah. Fire <laughs> safety. <laughs> Should have done places the Sheridans haven't been. It take less time. Now, uh, fire who safety. Has, who has the advantage in this one, Bodie? It, uh, I don't. I hopefully everybody does. Hopefully right. everybody gets oh. these questions right. Steve brought up a really good point when we were planning this show. Is uh, this is the time of year where accidents happen, whether we're running too many extension cords or those extension cords aren't in good shape. And just deep to kind of bring a frozen up, turkey. Yeah, deep frying. Well, my uh, <laughs> uh, my friend Trapper uh, will be deep frying for maybe the 16th or 17th year. And every year it's exciting <laughs> when he deep fries a turkey. Uh, he may or may not got a, a received a, a used pair of fire gloves one year <laughs> for Thanksgiving. I, I don't nice. know where he would have gotten those, though. Hmm. <laughs> so fire safety. And finally, well, actually, and this is another one. This is one of those gimmicky ones. You must answer the question with, well, actually, and then give me the answer. Ooh. So I'm going to give you a wrong fact, and you have to, well, actually, me. And again, the snarkier, the better. But okay. none of these we need to answer in the form of a question. You didn't. I mean, you can if you want to. But it's but not you don't Jeopardy. Have to. No, okay. I will not ant you. Wow. All Look right. at this. So uh, each, just like Jeopardy or similar to Jeopardy and other quiz games that have a grid, uh, we're going to start with 100 points under each category and go all the way up to 500 points. Allison, chivalry is not dead on this show. You are the first to pick which category and which well, Bodie, I'd like to start with duh for 100. Duh for 100. Until 1923, what was the Turkish city of Istanbul called? This is a geography. I picked duh. I know. I told you that I messed it up. <laughs> this is before we had this conversation. I said two of these are very much alike. Oh, no. This is the ones. Rob. Rob. Constantinople? Yes, sir. Wow. Oh, well man. done. Istanbul was canceled. A million years would never have known that. All right. 
So that is correct. I did download uh, <laughs> I did download uh, uh, audio effects, but now that I'm getting to it, I'm realizing that's too complicated. Here we go. Here we go, Rob. There you go. Oh, there we go. Ah. Rob, let's keep it here and let's go with duh for 200. <laughs> I wonder if it'll be a geography question. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Allison. What is the national flower of Japan? Steve. Sorry, Rob. Steve. Hey, hey Allison, I said said Allison first. before you started. Oh, I'm reading. sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go cherry blossom. Cherry blossoms is correct. Woo! Good job. And we'll go back to the correct. I need a producer. Yeah. There we go. And wait, Allison. Bodie, you're you're not in this. Am I not playing? I don't you're see your name. Hosting. I'm, I'm hosting. He's he knows the answer. But oh, I would so literally get everything right. All right. Good. Okay. I was going to say that would be unfair. <laughs> Allison, the board is All yours. right. Fire safety for 100. Fire safety for 100. Here we go. What is the leading cause of... This is really depressing. Sorry. What is the leading cause Rob. of home fire deaths in the U.S.? Steve. Steve. No, Rob said Rob, Rob went first. first. Oh. Oh. Are you bad at this? Uh, smoke inhalation. Mm. That is a really good answer, but that is incorrect in, mm. in this case. We're looking for... Uh, Wait, Steve's th answer. Yes, go ahead, Steve. Uh, I was going to guess smoke inhalation as well, so... Okay, oh, we'll guess something else. It. Pick something else? Um, the leading cause... I'm trying to figure out if this is the cause of the death, not the fire. Um, it's actually the leading cause of the fire that caused the deaths. So if Rob wants mm. to re-answer after oh. Steve, I will allow it. Wait, but then I don't get a chance. I will give everybody 100 points. Whoever gets it right or wrong. Uh, I, Rob, go, and then I have a, a guess. Wait. I, 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 Allison. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Let, let, let Allison, you go. go first. Electrical. That's a really good question. That's a really good uh, uh, guess. That That's actually the leading cause of fire in the home, but not the death. Not the death. Okay. Yeah. Now back to Rob? No. Rob. Go ahead. Heat. Ooh. Also a good question, but not the answer. <laughs> oh, but let, that is the let answer. Let me make sure I understand the question. This is the cause of the fire that leads to deaths. Deaths, yes. The most. Yes. Um, Christmas trees burning. Also a good answer, but incorrect. Uh, we are looking for today, and I'm going to give everybody 100 points. Oh, it was smoking. smoking. I will... Oh, yeah, that's that bad question. I don't even think about that anymore, but I guess, and that's still, still the case, is. Bodhi. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. According to uh, statistics and it, it doesn't, usually it's because people either it's because they don't properly dispose of it or, they, you know, they just fall asleep and fall asleep. Yeah. This yeah. is a depressing game. Yeah. That one was depressing. <laughs> this is the, this is <laughs> This is when it's good as a firefighter to run some of this stuff because I actually had more death questions under fire safety, <laughs> and my wife recommended not doing that when we went over this yesterday. <laughs> so who controls the board now? Who had it last time? I think still Allison. Still Allison. All right. Well, let, I'm just going to keep trying to find categories so I find one without death. OG Trekkie for 100. OG Trekkie. All right. What is the registry number for Allison. the starship Allison? No, no, 1701. no. Oh. Wait. All right. So I think part of the... I think there's a delay. Well, I don't know if there's a delay. My mic is over. Oh, you're used. not hearing who said it first? Yeah. So if I turn my, if I turn my headset down... Rob, it'll, who said it uh, first, Steve or Allison? I thought Steve had that I one. I heard Steve my Roll. name okay. and then Allison's name. How about so, this? Go ahead, Steve. Uh, what do you think it is? Well, you already said it. I'm going to do this. If all three of you answer at the uh, do it at the same time, we'll all agree to pause and sort it out. On the other side, if two of you ask or say your name at the same time, the third one gets to choose who said it first. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I'm not going to just let that go by. Uh, did anybody just see bubbles or balloons yeah. and I see fireworks now? Who's doing this? Oh. <laughs> That's what you get if you get a Mac, Rob. Oh. Here, I'll give you hearts. All right, everybody's getting 100 points for this. because 
Was I right? You were right. Oh. So before you say the answer, let's have an agreement on who go, who went first, because if you say the answer, yeah. it reveals the answer, and then there's no discussion. You've kind of already stolen the first place. So let's okay. let, let's. I didn't get hear that. any other names, so I didn't realize anybody was else in contention. Yeah. That's why I did it. So, Bodie, you tell us who you think answered first, and we will discuss whether or not you're right. Well, that's what that's the we problem is. The if you say it while I'm, t- this is riveting podcasting for the audience. <laughs> but if you say it while I'm talking, all I hear in my head set is me. I don't oh. hear yeah. you so as that, loud. It, because every time you've you've done it wrong, yeah. well, every time you have done it wrong, but every time you've done it wrong, it's been the first one you don't hear. So right. I think I'm just going to go second, and then I get to go first. <laughs> yeah, and then there'll be just a pause of everybody waiting for somebody to go. Um, also, Allison, you failed to realize the first rule of the game, which is I'm always right. So I'm not doing it wrong. I'm <laughs> We're letting the game wrong. breathe. He's just doing it his way. <laughs> This is going swimmingly so far. (laughs) It is. All right. So as it stands right now, I think only one answer has been uh, legitimately answered. (laughs) Everybody has points on the board. Allison has 400. Rob has 300. Steve has 200. Let's go ahead. Allison, you have the board. OG Trekkie for 200. Okay, here we go. What was Lieutenant Chekhov's full name? I need first, middle, and last on this. Rob. Go ahead, Rob. Pavel Andreev Chekhov. Ooh. That's really close. Does anybody have something closer? Come on, Steve. You must know this. I don't. (sighs) It's the middle name. Yeah. Is it Pavel Andreev? Uh, Allison. Alexi. Pavel well, Alexi? No. Allison, go ahead. Pavel Andreas Chekhov? You're very, very close. I'm going to give this to Rob. Give it to it's Rob. Andrea Vich. Ah. 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 Yeah, I think Rob earned that. What, what, what did I say? Andrea? I th- no, it was Andrea, I think. Or okay. It was, there wasn't a Vich. There might have been a sh, but there wasn't an itch. <laughs> no, once you said it, I can't remember what I said because I just know that to be correct. So yeah, somebody's going to take my tricky did, card away. I, I didn't even that. get Pavel to be to be fair. Yeah. So that's a, that's a good one. I think he earns that. I th- I agree, and I almost said the answer when I read the question. So that was good. That should be four hundred points. No, we're going to no, keep them in order. Oh, okay, okay. we don't want this to get out of control. You know, I want to keep it here. Let's let's go OG Trekkie for three hundred. Perfect. How many seasons did the original series run? Allison. Steve. Rob. That's I Allison, Allison, I think. Okay. Got that Go one. Six? Steve. Oh, that's wrong. Steve. I think it only ran three seasons. I think he's right. And you would be correct. correct. Yeah. As soon as I said six. Dang. All right. So we go here and we give that to Steve. Ooh. Board is heating up. Yes, it is. <laughs> you got Allison at 400, Rob at 500, and Steve at 500. Steve? Um, I want to switch to Easy EV. All right. For 100. 100, Easy EV. Which country has the most electric vehicles Steve. per capita? Allison. I'm I second. Steve. Steve got that first. Okay. Uh, ahead, it's one of the Scandinavian countries, and I th- think it is... Eh, time's up. Finland. Finland. Uh, incorrect. Allison. Allison. Norway. Correct. Yes. Oh, I gave you a hint with a Scandinavian. No, I already knew it was Norway. <laughs> that one I did know. All right. We're going to give that to Allison. Yeah, we have to get off OG Trekkie because uh, Rob's going to kill us. Yeah. In that category. Except, you know what? It's not on Hulu, Rob. On DTNS, you referred to turning Hulu on and off with uh, Star Trek. It's on Paramount+. Plus. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have all the things. I get I get confused sometimes when I'm trying to figure out what I'm watching stuff on. If, if only they had a system where they could just put all the stuff and you get like a little box with a slider and you can just slide 
slide back and forth and it puts it on different channels that that would be so cool yeah. and, and it's corded i don't want anything wireless i want to i want to i want to you know brown box with a with a brown cord maybe a dial on the front that you just turn it to the thing you want to watch yeah. or i something just... are you still playing with us you're you're fooling around you're looking in a drawer over there Bodie. what are you doing no i was looking for a pencil so i could keep oh, okay. track of where my answers are <laughs> It's got this cool electronic board we're watching, and he's using a pencil. I, I have to make sure that I get the correct answers. The credibility of this game demands it. <laughs> you bet. I don't remember oh, who got the last one. I did. Okay, um, Allison. Yeah, it's Allison. a 500 all around, uh, just in case you're Let's scoring at home and haven't left. <laughs> yeah, the three people are still listening. Easy EV for 200. Easy EV for 200. Here we go. True or false? Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are a type of electric True. vehicle. I, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. Go ahead, Steve. True. That is true. Uh, how so? I, I forgot. I thought like, my name was True for a moment there. <laughs> Steve and True. Yell Bodhi one of these times. Uh, the fuel cells actually go through. Um, the hydrogen goes through a little generator and that generator is converted into electricity and some of that electricity is stored in a battery and then it powers the vehicle. Does it burn the hydrogen or? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't know what the actual technical term for it is, but yeah, it converts hydrogen to electricity. You're a firefighter, but it's, it's somewhere that probably ends in cis is what it does. Like, <laughs> like mm -hmm. electrolysis, electrolysis. Or electrolysis or something. Yeah. Oh, Steve, you I, control the board. I've got the board. Let's let's try fire safety for 200. Fire safety for 200. Death for everybody. <laughs> yeah, actually, on which Steve. day of the year do the most candle fires Steve. occur, Steve? Uh, I would guess Christmas. Allison. That is, oh, that that's is correct, correct, actually. Yeah, December oh, I was going to guess the first day of Hanukkah. Oh, I guess I oh. should use I mean, they got the menorah with all those candles, you know? That is, uh, wow, and Hanukkah doesn't fresh. happen at the same time. It it moves. It, it moves, but I'm assuming you, you're basing this off the United States, so Correct. there's just so many more folks that are celebrating Christmas. Yeah. That's why that would be true. Oh, so that was U.S. fires. That see, I was I was answering globally. Oh, of course. I give everybody two hundred for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve, you should have gotten. I, I need to start Too complaining. Bad. Steve got two hundred. <laughs> All right. All right. Steve, you got 200 um, and the board. Let's try. Well, actually. For how much? 100. We have to start uh, at 100, you said. Oh, no, you don't have to start at 100. You can choose. Oh, you said oh. we did. Oh, man. Did I've been jumping all over. Yeah. I, I was really surprised that you were going for 100. I thought that was a lot of self restraint. <laughs> well, no, actually, you're right. for 100. You never said that. Yep. Okay. My fault. My apologies. Uh, okay, so remember, this needs to be answered with, well, actually, and then the answer. The famous line, the famous movie line. Allison. Steve. <laughs> I wrote this so poorly. Yes, go ahead, Allison. Do you want to read the question for the audience? <laughs> the famous movie line, you're going to need a bigger boat, was uttered in the Titanic. Well, actually, this was in the movie Jaws. That is correct. Well done. By the way, I was channeling my inner inner uh, Molly Wood. She used to always say that on uh, on uh, what was the first show she did with Tom? Can't remember the Buzz name. Buzz out of loud. It. Yeah, Buzz, Buzz out. out loud. She would say, "Well, actually, that was a good uh, one to win." All right. Well, actually, for two hundred. All right. Here we go. Dave Grohl was the original drummer of the Beatles. Rob. Rob. Well, actually, Dave Grohl was the original drummer for Nirvana and then lead guitar player and singer for Red Hot Chili. No, I can't remember. What's, what's the second group? Foo Fighters. In? Foo Fighters. There you go. Correct. But definitely drummer for Nirvana. Does, mm -hmm. Would anybody? <laughs> that, that's a, I'm going to give you all the points, Rob. I also <laughs> wanted to know it, who <laughs> I also wanted to know it was Pete Best for the Beatles. But that was my fault. I shouldn't oh. have done that. I should have, oh, I should have picked a non-drummer drummer. Yeah. My I bad. thought of this way, but I didn't know the answer ah. to the question anyway. So, Yeah. 
So Pete Best, original drummer for the Beatles, but correct, Dave Grohl, original drummer for Nirvana. And uh, beloved human being, Dave Grohl. Where's that knitting question? You have to find it. Rob? Let's see here. Let's go with... I, mean, I want to go back to the OG Trekkie. Okay, sir. Let's go OG Trekkie for 400. <laughs> How many times was the phrase, beam me Allison. up, Scotty? Go ahead, Allison. Steve. Well, finish it oh. for the audience. Okay. Used in the original TV series. Zero. That is correct. Yes. Yep. Well done. It was used in the movie, not in the TV series. That is correct. Which I was shocked by. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember when I heard that. It's an iconic oh. phrase that he never said in the show. Yeah. Let's go for OG Trekkie for 500 points. Okay, here we go. Which celebrity helped prevent the show from Steve being Allison. canceled after the first season? I think it was Steve. Rob? Nope. Rob? It was me. Um, was I didn't me. answer. I, I know no, the answer. No, no, no. Who, who answered first? first? Allison. Oh, it was either me or Steve. You didn't answer at all. I mean, <laughs> not me or Steve. You, you, you or Steve, but I, I, I couldn't tell who right. it was. Steve, what did you hear? That, the, the only fair way to do this is for you to pick a number between one and 10. I'm going to write a number or down we on my split it. If we both get it right, well, how do we do this? Okay, yeah, so let's do one, yeah. two, three and answer at the same time. Okay. Hopefully the delay will work. One, two, three, Lucille, Lucille Ball. Ball. All right, you both get 250. You, you both are going to get... You can split it. I can't do 50s. All right. But I'll do that. All right. And I'll give Rob 500. Wait, why does Rob get 500? Where are all your points for? She didn't do anything. <laughs> I have, just to, be I have to sign the points somewhere. I, I reduce them down when I do it. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I'll, I'll take them. Um, I want to go back to Easy EV for 300. Easy EV for 300. According to the Department of Energy, when was the first electric car produced? Rob. Go ahead, sir. 1908. Good answer, but the wrong answer. I'll take the closest, though. Whoever gets the closest. Allison. Steve. Allison, go ahead. I was just out of the blue going to say 1906, but before he said that, that was the first number that came in my head for no reason. So you're saying 1906? Yeah, are we playing Steve. Price is Right rules if we don't sure. get it? Closest without going over. Steve? 1905. Steve bid $1. The correct answer is 1890. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So wow. <clears throat> actually in 1832, Robert Anderson, a, a Scotsman, he actually developed the first electric horse, dry, uh, horseless carriage, but it didn't have, it didn't have rechargeable batteries. So you had to, you had to take the throw battery away. out, throw it away and put a new battery in. Wow. Yeah. Wait, so we all went over, but he was closest. Uh, Steve was closest. Yeah. 1890, uh, William Morris, the chemist from, also a Scotsman, by the way, from Des Moines, created the first rechargeable electric vehicle, according to the Department of Energy. What year was that? 1890. Wow. Wow. Would have never guessed that. So we've been slacking on that technology. Yeah, right? Well, yeah, Rob, Rob, you're going to get around to it any minute now. Yeah. <laughs> so, and th I'm going from memory on this, but it might be interesting. Um, I was actually going to do an episode on this. Uh, when the electric car came out, it was actually really popular. But when Henry Ford developed the Model T, it was like you could buy a $750 car, which was the Model T, or you could buy a $1,900 car, which was an electric car. Huh, and yeah, and the, the electric cars couldn't keep up, but because, you know, you had to crank start the, the Model T and some of those early cars, what a lot of wealthier people did was they would buy the Model T for themselves. Like the man would buy the Model T for himself. And then he would buy a electric car for his wife. Like Henry Ford's wife had an electric car. Hmm. Oh. So they didn't have to crank it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. And, and also, yes, correct. Sorry. And also like electric cars during that time, Henry Ford's time, they were marketed towards women, which mm -hmm. I found to be interesting. As well, they should be. What's interesting is that 
electric vehicles today are having the same <laughs> issue. They cost more. Yes. Actually, it's, you know, it's, act, well, actually, Rob, I was going to yell <laughs> wrong you about category. this comment. On, on, uh, on DTNS, you were talking about how much more electric vehicles cost, but a recent report came out that uh, studied the prices of Teslas with the, uh, the lowering of the prices recently. And if you take into account the $7,500 uh, tax credit in the United States, federal tax credit, and what you save in gas, it's uh, a Model 3 is now cheaper than a Toyota Corolla. So you're talking about co cost of ownership. Well, no, it, this wasn't total for the cost life. Of, this wasn't life total of cost car. of ownership. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Total cost of ownership would be maintenance and a lot of other stuff, which would probably make it an even better deal. This is just w what you save like in a year. I forget exactly how much time they took it on, but mm -hmm. it was it was mm -hmm. the $7,500 was the biggest factor of it. And it was cheaper than a Toyota Corolla. So they're getting cheaper. Not the car yeah. you're going to buy, Rob. No, no. We'll see if the car I want to buy comes out. Mm. I, I think it is, but it's. It, I'm not. I'm, I'm not having happy vibes. If GM um, can put out the Hummer, not a GM lately, they're definitely going to put out the Cadillac uh, uh, Escalade, Escalade EV. They have to. They they just won't build very many of them, but they could, they'll put it out. That's that's the problem. All right, recapping the scores here, Allison. 1,400, 1,400, Rob, 900, and Steve, 1,400. Anybody's game. All right. Steve, you took the last one. All right. Let's go back to Easy EV for 400. Easy for EV. What was the original? What year was the original Tesla Roadster Steve. released? Go ahead, Steve. Everyone's learned not to go first on these kind of questions. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, I will guess... Um, 2003? Oh, that's a good guess, but that is incorrect. Okay. Allison? I was Go ahead, just going to guess 2002. Yeah, also incorrect. Rob, you want to... Look at you, Rob. <laughs> Rob, let's, let's go 2006. 2006. The correct answer is 2008. And this oh. answer goes to I Rob. I that, that, uh, Wow. Reason. What year did we drive it, Steve? I thought it was I think 20, more like 2012. 20, no, it was well before we retired, so probably 2010. Yeah. All right. All right, Rob. Well, take it. Let's go with uh, World Geography no. for 500. No. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Hey, just uh, wait, what'd you go for? Oh. World Geography, the same as duh. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it, but that's fine. What country has pyramids older than Egypt? And we are all agreeing Steve got it first? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Steve, go ahead. Mexico? Ooh. Ah, good guess, but that's incorrect. Rob. Go ahead, Rob. Braz Peru. Peru. Also <laughs> a good guess, but uh, incorrect. You could have just said, do any other countries have pyramids? And I wouldn't have known, even though I've seen pyramids in Mexico. Well, since his other guess was Brazil, I'll say Brazil. Incorrect. We're looking for Sudan. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. I would not have guessed Ooh. that. Yeah. I had that same, ex yeah. <laughs> had that same exact uh, reaction. I was like, oh, huh. I didn't even know there was a Sudan. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. There it is. Can't be wrong. <laughs> Dave Grohl. Let's keep it with world geography for 400. Copy that. Here we go. How many countries are there in Africa? Allison. Go ahead. Lots. Very close. Uh, I will take guess. like everything. We'll just guess on this and whoever gets closest. 17. Okay. No, there's yeah, more than that. I said Do lots. I go, that was my first Why don't you answer. go next, Rob? <laughs> I want to go with 37. 37. And Steve I'm coming gonna in to go, sweep it. I'm going to go with 33. 33. And this answer goes to Rob. There are 54 countries in Africa. Wow. Oh. I my thought... Goodness. I honestly thought that there were probably somewhere around the neighborhood of 30, maybe a little more than 30. I did not realize. And most yeah. people 
I don't know most people. Some people still think Africa is a country. It is not. Yeah, I've heard that before. It's a very large continent. Oh, he's he's not even wrong. Huh. Rob takes the lead. Um, let's go with duh for 500. Duh for Boom. 500. Going large here. Is Will it be a world geography question? We don't know. Here we go. What is the singer, songwriter, actress? Uh, Rob. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Wait, no, you got to pronounce these. Oh, what, what does this even yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what is the name or the no. stage name of singer, actor, songwriter, Stephanie Germanotti, Germanata? Gwen Stefani. That is not correct. Oh. oh. She actually uh, has. Steve. Go ahead, Steve. Um, she goes by a single name. She has a following. Are you supposed uh, to know the her... answer before you buzz in? I said Steve. <laughs> I... No, but you, you, know, <laughs> I, you know your name, Steve. Very good. Uh, good job. Um, is that, does she do that song? No. No, your time is running out. <laughs> oh, um, Allison. Oh, gosh, what's your name? Go ahead, Al. Sudan. Oh. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> the answer we're looking for today is Lady Gaga. That's it. Yeah. Oh, wow. And actually. That's uh, not geography. No, and it's not. this is not well, actually, either. It was duh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I told you. I did not realize how closely related some of these things were. This is a geography. You know, uh, uh, Lady Gaga actually has like four very Italian names. So, mm -hmm. didn't know that. I did not either. I didn't even know what her real name was until I looked it up. Not until about 40 seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everything's new to me. So, everything you talk about on this right now is new. Who has the board? Let's go. Uh, Rob. Rob. With well, actually, five hundred points. Rob's going hard. Here we go. Right in. Ice Cube plays Finn on the television show Law and Order: Special Victims Unit. Rob. Rob. Well, actually, that is not Ice Cube. That would be Ice T. Ice T. That is correct. Uh, and you know what's? So I was looking this up uh, with Ice T. He played very small parts in two of my favorite movies, uh, Breakin' and Breakin' Two: Electric Boogaloo. And then he also was in the movie Rappin', which I have not seen. Breaking and Rappin'. Yep. Yeah. So let me let me be clear. You had me on. I said I wanted to talk about knitting, and you put in music and geography. There are no two subjects I have less knowledge about. <laughs> I tried very hard to. I thought you. I well the the geography is. You, you might not have known I didn't know any geography. Yeah. But I don't know any geography. I mean, you've been so many different places. I thought this was a like a. Uh, Slam dunk. My apologies. It should have helped. I will flog myself after the show. <laughs> Allison, if I remember correctly, just listening to music is just not a thing for you. No, right? you no, don't... I don't listen to any music at all. Never have. Doesn't interest me. I know. I'm weird. There's a whole article in the Atlantic about a thing called music specific anhedonia. And that's apparently what I have because I was interviewed for that article. As she wears a hard rock cafe shirt. <laughs> See, I know where Buenos Aires is because I've been there. You haven't asked any Argentinian questions. You haven't asked about India. We've been to the UAE. We've been to, to Ireland, Belgium. We've been all over the place. None of the places you picked. I've been to East Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Cleveland. Nice. All right. Rob? Let's go with fire safety for 500, Ooh, Bodie. Look at Rob. Rob's got a strategy. By the way, if anybody's curious, and again, still listening... Our score stands at this. Allison has 1,400 points. Rob has 2,200 points. And Steve has 1,400 points. Moving on to fire safety for 500. What is the acronym EDITH? EDITH. Rob. Go ahead, Rob. The lady who says, oh, Archie. <laughs> R.I.P. Allison. Go ahead, uh, Allison. The H has heat in it. It does not. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get one letter right. Steve. 
Go ahead. I'm guessing these are methods for putting out a fire. Extinguish, drench. <laughs> inhale. Uh, inhale. <laughs> uh, I, I, I have no idea. Okay. Douse for D. It is actually not uh, an acronym for, for extinguishing fires. This is uh, an acronym that was pretty popular in the 80s and 90s. Uh, we don't do it as much anymore because nobody knows what it means. It's exit exit drills in the home. Ah, oh, so, exit drills in the home. Yes, exit drills in the home, which are really important. And uh, nobody does it. Not a lot of people. I looked and said, "Well, I got a door here and a window with a roof. I'd go out on the roof." Yeah, you, as long as you know two ways out. The, yeah. the better answer is if the fire is not in the room with you, close the door and put something in the cr cracks and wait for the fire department to get there, open up the window and yell for help. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Hmm. All right. This is educational. And informative. Yeah. Let's do well, actually for 400. Here we go. Rob frozen was the first ever Oscar won the first ever Oscar for Best animated film. Allison. I have go no ahead, idea, Allison. but I'm going to go with, well, actually, that would have been Toy Story. No, that is incorrect. <laughs> Steve. Steve. Well, actually, that would have been Little Mermaid. Mm, no. That was my Not second guess. Shoot. Well, actually... That would have been that Disney movie from way back in the day that I cannot remember the name of that was in black. I'm already going to tell you no. It was Shrek. 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 Oh, oh, wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. Good for Shrek. I, thought, I was very surprised by that, too. That is one of my favorite Disney movies. Fun fact to know and tell, the yeah. music in movies matters to me a lot. So the movie, oh, yeah? the music in Shrek, I love the music in Shrek. So you like uh, the hmm. rock star? Uh, uh, yeah, the, the dance sequence at the end with the music, it's the best. Rob. Let's go. Duh for 400. Duh for 400. Here we go. Wait. How often should you replace your smoke Steve, detector? That was you fire safety. One. Steve. But okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at this. <laughs> Bodie's always That's right. right. I really bit fire yes, safety really for 400. I think I heard Steve first. Steve is definitely okay, Steve, What's the question? How often should you replace a smoke detector? Duh, that should be once a year. That is incorrect. Whoa. Allison. Oh, oh it, not the battery. Shoot. I think the battery. Allison. Go ahead, Allison. I believe they're like around five or seven years, whatever the warranty you says. Gotta pick a, you got to pick a year. Well, I just said whatever the warranty says. Oh, well... You still got to pick a year. How many years? Seven. Seven. Rob, do you have a better answer? No, that's not right. I want to go every 10 years. Yes, sir. That is the correct wow. answer. The warranty was up in seven years on the ring smoke detector. I protest this answer. Yeah, I think we they had to were replace defective. Them. You can, but ring, an Amazon company, does not follow the standard dumb smoke detectors that most people put in their home. Didn't say dumb smoke detectors. <laughs> Every 10 years. It's recommended that you change the battery twice a year. When I the never time change changes. the battery. Ours is hardwired. So even if it's hardwired, you should change the battery. You still want to change the battery. Unless yeah, uh, it's got, got a, a battery in it that's being charged a whole off home of battery. That. Hmm? Got a whole home battery. Home, we have a whole home battery, Rob. We, we don't have power outages. No. <laughs> I, don't I still wanna, protest. You can protest all you want. I don't want to see you get up, uh, um, uh, unalived and a fire so if your okay. batteries need to be changed twice a year if you have a sealed smoke detector which some people do you can buy them at home depot or lowe's that's uh that that battery is good for 10 years but there's a caveat to this is that at some point in time that smoke detector there's a little there's a little bit of um radiation in that smoke detector and that's what it's using to detect when something crosses its little beam hmm. that will sometimes go dead or, or oh. go bad and your smoke detector will make a sound like it's going to beep. And then it's just kind of like uh, dying at the end. That's when you need to change that smoke detector as well. Oh. And sometimes depending oh. on what kind of a dusty climate you live in or, you know, 
if you if you if there's a lot of bugs, like you, sometimes you got to change them sooner. So he didn't explain it, Bodhi. My father used to be a volunteer firefighter, and I remember when um, I wasn't a kid. I was probably 16, 17 years old. We were over someone's house, and we heard that noise. And he said, oh, we, you need to replace your, you know, he distinctly said, you need to replace that fire detector. And who I can't even remember whose house we were over. They said, oh, I just put a battery in there. It, it keeps going off. He's like, it's not the battery. The detector is oh, wow. the detector is going bad. That's what that noise means. And I never brought that until, you know, I, I never thought about that until just now. That is that is a 40 year memory. Wow. Uh, so that he I was have. right. Yeah, I remember my dad saying I, that. I, ha- yeah. I hardly believe that you are 57 years old, sir. 30 years ago. <laughs> hey, so, uh, Steve, does our, do the rings, uh, uh, smoke detect- nest? Actually it's nest. I lied. It's nest. It's not ring. Do the nest smoke detectors have batteries? I don't think they do. Is that possible? It is that possible it's- that they have something inside that's keeping you, you smoke detectors as far as I know are required to have, uh, backup some power. sort of backup just in case the powder, the power goes out. So, but it may not be a replaceable battery. It may not be. They may have a, a little rechargeable battery on there that's just, you know, uh, slowly taking Nest energy from you. that low voltage connection that it has. Nest mm-hmm. Protect will begin to chirp when the batteries get critically low. They use six Energizer Ultimate Lithium AA batteries as its sole power source. That's not are right, they re- Google. Are they rechargeable? Do they charge while it's operating? I, I don't know. We, you've been inside them before. I don't recall seeing well, those we'll batteries. We'll go check and we'll we'll, we'll check after back. the show. Okay. Well, in honor of in honor of the fact that we just all changed, except for Arizona time zones, or uh, except for parts of Arizona. Yeah, the 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 Hopi, the Hopi tribe up up north. Okay, um, <laughs> Rob, what was the one you actually wanted? <laughs> Duh for 400. Um, duh for 400. Oh, it's this one right here, right? <laughs> here we go. Here you go, Allison. What's the fastest time for knitting a scarf? <laughs> the, the length was two meters and the width oh, was wow. 30 centimeters. Two meters. 13 minutes. Steve. 13 minutes. Steve. Um, t- two meters, 30. And you said 13 minutes? Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to guess 17 minutes. Rob? I'm going to go one minute. One. I don't believe it's one minute, but I believe that everything, if it if, if, if has to be under that, I think it's under, I think under it's 13. Under 12. Yeah. The correct answer, according to a knitting trivia site that I found, 57 wow. minutes and 55 oh, wow. seconds. I was way off. So st- Wow. Steve, you're closest. Yeah, Those feet. knitting needles would catch on fire. Yeah, two minutes is six. It's like six feet. Yeah. All right. We all were kind of off on that one. No, but I get it, right? I guess 17. Because Price is Right rules. You said oh, pri- closest uh, without Steve going had over. 17. This is 57. Ah, shoot. Yeah, but the closest without going over. He's right. You won. I'm under. 14, 17 versus 57. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, she's saying. Closest without going over. You were closest without going over. Right. It's okay. okay. Take the points yeah. from him and give them to me. No, nope. he, you're he not arguing. I thought you were arguing with <laughs> Do I? points. No, she, she, she was trying to give you your Got points. It. He didn't recognize me not arguing with him. She never does that. <laughs> All right, Steve. All right, Steve. Okay, let's. Um, Steve controls the. Board. I'm going to clean up uh, Easy EV for 500. Easy EV for 500. Here we go. Which country became the first in the world to have an all-electric racing car series known as Formula E in 2014? Rob. Steve. I heard Rob first. Is that correct? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, Rob. I'm going to go with Japan. That is incorrect. Good guess. I'm going to go with Britain. England. England is incorrect. I also would accept Allison. that. UK as an incorrect answer. Allison, go ahead. <laughs> How about India? Ooh, India. Incorrect. Trying to do the, a country I've heard of. Okay, identity. I'm going to guess another one, although this doesn't Wait. count. Oh, China. Oh, sorry. China. No, that's all right. It wouldn't have counted anyway. Would um, you guess I would, China? I, no, I was going to guess person. Italy next, but Italy is probably the last to go. Oh, they like fancy cars. 
So when I first read the the question for this one, I had similar, I thought Japan, I thought Italy, I did not think the UK. I actually thought Monaco, um, but no, hmm. China. Hmm. Wow. Steve still controls the board. He does. Okay. Um, since Allison loves this so much, uh, world geography for 100. <sighs> What country has the most natural lakes? Rob. Go ahead, Rob. United States. Incorrect. Steve. Go ahead, Steve. Um, Iceland. Incorrect. Hmm. Allison, it's all on you. It is all on me. Allison. Go ahead. One of them. One of them. Fifty-four countries in Africa. Ooh. Say one. <laughs> That's a good answer. Yeah, but if I'm you wrong, pick I just cleared the whole thing. No, no you got to pick If it were me, them, if it were me, you... listen, I'm not telling you what to do. If it were me, I'd pick a country that was in North America. Oh, okay. Canada. Oh, what a big hint. It wasn't a hint. Oh, duh. <laughs> well, U.S. was wrong. <laughs> so what's left? Yes. Well, Mexico. Okay. Well, a um, little more land area there in Canada, but we'll give it to her. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you, Steve. I think uh, uh, you're welcome. I, I think if you're trailing, I'm, I'm always going to give you a leg up. All right. And speaking of trailing, let's let's <laughs> go over our, our scores at the moment. Rob is sitting at 2,200. Allison is 1,500, and Steve is at 1,800. All right. Since obviously it's my strength, let's go world geography for 300. S still anybody's game. There we go. The Lord of the Rings trilogy was filmed Allison, in what country? Steve, Rob. Allison got okay. that one first. Right. New Zealand. Correct. Because we've been there. You finally got one where I was there. Yeah. Did you guys see that big freaking door in the side of that mountain? Steve, no, we missed that. still mad because <laughs> I, I wanted let him to go. go there and she wouldn't let me. Wait, is there really a door there? Well, there are hobbit, little hobbit areas where you can. Yeah. Now, I don't know about the big door. To Mordor or whatever. I'm not sure that door is there, but. The, the Hobbit There's a big is there. scary thing in the airport, big Hobbit ish a thing. A giant airport. golem. Is it golem? That's Ooh. what it was. Yeah. Philadelphia has Rocky. New Zealand has Golem. <laughs> Who has Rocky? Philadelphia. <laughs> Philly. Philly. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, All right. Uh, world geography for 200. Here we go. Clearing out the world geography category. What is the name Steve. of the driest continent Steve. on Earth? I heard Steve. Anybody else? Nope. Steve. Okay. Antarctica. That is a correct. Uh, oh, yes. I didn't another know that, one Steve. we've been to. Yep. Well, how do you measure dry when it's covered in snow? Perci precipitation. What comes out Precip of the air? Yeah, precipitation. Oh. Not well, what's that's on that's the not ground. The snow you see there is blowing what around. It's, it's not new air. snow. It's snow that's blowing around. Yeah. That's not driest. That's, that's how they define lowest precipitation. Well, yeah. That's generally defined to be the driest. I protest. It's also a desert. It's it's classified as a desert. It is. Yeah. Well, I've been there. I would like to go there. I can't get my wife on a boat, but oh, yeah. There's just this Drake Passage you have to go through. It takes about two days. Has between like a low day is maybe 15 foot swells. A bad day is 30, 40 foot swells. It's awesome. She'd love Sounds it. Sounds awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going pass. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll wait till it warms up. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's bad. Who's next? Oh, no. Steve. I think I am. Uh, let's okay. go um, duh for 300. Duh for 300. Here we go. Who is credited for inventing the World Wide Web? Steve. Steve. Somebody, Werner's Lee? That is incorrect. <laughs> Close, but incorrect. Allison. Go ahead. Ken Werner's Lee. You are so close. Oh, come on. Is I it Ken you... Al, uh, Rob, do you want to give it a shot before Allison gives away? Yeah. Um, there was a politician that said he invented it. Um, <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm not going Al Gore. <laughs> oh, on I know this one. not the actual answer. No, 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 no Al Gore. I didn't get that uh, weird. That would have been funny. No, I don't know. Allison. Tim. Tim, Tim. Berners. Oh, I, I think you should give it to Steve. In 19, well, is it Ver 19. Tim Berners Lee? Burner. Tim Berner Lee? Tim Berners Lee? Let me let me I make think sure. It's Berner. Like a uh -oh. phone? 
Uh, it's B E R N E R S hyphen Lee. Oh, it is Berners. Yeah, so and I also would have accepted Sir Tim so, Berners Lee. So I said somebody I Berners Lee, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Steve. Yeah, gets I, I'll one. take two thirds. All right, get rid of that unsightly banner that thing at the top. That tab there. That's going to bother me. Which one? You, your start page there in the in the tab bar. It's unsightly. Oh, we spent that, all that, that time cleaning everything up. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Did you just subtract from him? Oh, there no, I get Oh, Steve. Oh. At the Steve last moment, jumps oh, into we the still lead. got a He's couple more. Exciting, All right. So we're, we're. I got to win both of these to win, don't I? We, yes, we are in a place where anybody could technically win. Um, we have fire safety for 300, and we have well actually for 300. Allison is sitting at 1,800 points. So that would get her over Steve's. Rob is sitting at 2,200 points, and Steve eked out 2,300 points. Steve? Well, actually, for 300. Here we go. Is it a geography, geography question? Might be. Gangnam Style is the most watched video on YouTube. Well, actually, well, actually it's that one with the guys on the, uh, on the uh, treadmills. You're okay, go, Mr. Beast. Okay, go. No, the okay, go. Oh, okay, one? go. Uh, the information I have is incorrect, but I will double check that while somebody Steve. else answers. Wait, I'm incorrect or it's incorrect? Your answer is incorrect. You're, I'm pretty sure your answer is incorrect. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you said your answer was incorrect, Steve. Go ahead, I'm Steve. going to, I don't think this is right, but it's the only one I can think of. Uh, Charlie bit my finger. Oh, Ooh, well, actually, one. Charlie bit my Ooh, finger. That's it. Not it. I, I do not have that. Okay. Okay. My answer Rob. is correct. So uh, well, wait, Rob wait, still got it. I'm not going to give it. I'm going to let Rob do it, but I'm just letting Look, you guys. Can we circle know. back and try again? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, I'll give you half points. Well, well, Third actually, points. go ahead, Rob. I have no clue. Well, uh, right. well, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to before you wait before you guess again. I'm going to give you a a hint. A, um, a hint. Remember, I need all the points to be able to win. You can't give me right. third points. This, this is <laughs> Allison's got the next, the next. Uh, well, actually, how about we each but, get another guess in in the same order? Okay. Did you want the hint? Yes. Kids song. Oh well, actually, that's going to be. Uh, oh God, it's got to be co something from Coco Melon. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, Coco, uh, Baby Shark. Yeah. That is correct. That is Yay! Right. I don't think that's Coco Melon, though, but that's right. That, yes. Oh, that they, is do, not, they sing yeah. it. They do, they they do sing Coco it, Melon? but it's probably not. Do, 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 do. <sighs> what is the number on that, Bodie? Yeah. That thing has been watched billions oh, of times. Uh, I, I, I the only problem is it's only like eight parents, and they've all heard, heard it a third of a billion parents. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when my kids were fussy when they were babies, um, I used to play the hamster dance song. And they would just stop. They How's were that embarrassed. Did it eat it? Did it do do did it eat it? Do 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 exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you only can get that here. That one goes back to the 90s, if I remember correctly. I believe so. Yeah, I was watching that on AOL. Um, wow, Copyserve. I don't have current numbers because there's so much crap on youtube i don't know which one's an unofficial youtube but over 1.4 um 13 billion speaking. is the one i'm looking at yeah that's that's kind of what i 13 billion it says and they billions. just rounded the nearest billion i, mean, I heard 6. it a half a dozen times last week yeah yeah does it count every time my granddaughter sings it to me too because she sang it to me twice yesterday <laughs> maybe that's funny I, I thought this said 138 views no that's a b not an eight <laughs> yeah yeah no that's crazy when you just think about how many years of listening time that video yeah. has yeah. yeah all right well i control the final question on actually the board. it's anyone's safety. it's anyone's game it is it, it is I was, whoever gets this last one wins. 200, 2200 2300 yeah it's like you, you we all lined up fire safety for 300 Bodie. do it here we go should I make? Okay, here's how we're going to do this. Do you have a, a 
even a scratch piece of paper or an iPad or a phone or something that you can type in so you can lock your answer in before we do this. Wait, we have to answer now? Yeah, like Final before Jeopardy. Before you tell it to us, it is? Oh, Final Jeopardy. You tell us that. Yeah, so you... Yeah. We're Listen, also close. Down. Yell out their answer. We are also no, no, close. He... This is we're going to steal this from Jeopardy. This it's is a final great way Jeopardy. To do it. You get to choose how many points you want to bet. Oh, out of oh, your out of great. how much you have available. Everybody gets to give a number, and I will I will take the closest because I just gave you <laughs> just gave you what it was. What? Uh, never mind. Just keep going. I gave away some stuff. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to talk. So, so we have to bet, we have to write down two things: and then you're how much you're willing to risk, and then after you've written down how much you're willing to risk, then we will go through the. But nobody yells out anything. Nobody yells out anything. Okay. No yelling. Anything. And you have to give us a countdown clock, or ten seconds, or something, right? To write our, our to answer. write our answer. Thirty seconds. Yes. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Okay. I, I agree. Thirty seconds. Is no, first. no, so there... no googling. Right. No googling. Promise Has no everyone, uh, I'm doing does everyone have I'm their, an, their number written down? I do. I do. I okay. do. Okay. So here we go. Fire safety for 300 or for whatever final jeopardy, final kilowatt. What percentage of people have a fire escape plan for the home? It's going to be good for the audio audience, you know. <laughs> they can't even see us dancing to the music. So put the music on. I was surprised how good Steve was at dancing. Uh-oh. He's All right. quite the dancer. Here we go. All right. Allison. I bet 2,100 points. Okay, All the money all. for 15%. 15%. 2,100 points. Steve? This is Price is Right rules, right? Yep. I bet. Ooh. 2,300. 10% of the people have a plan. All right. Mm. And Rob? I bet 2,199 and 28% of people. Ooh. All right. And what did we say closest without going over or just closest? Closest I say without closest. going over was the rule. No. Closest without going over. I will accept the vote. Just in case anybody doesn't believe mine. Allison, I'm going to accept the vote, and I'm going to tell you you're not in this. So. Oh. <laughs> so you. Well, wait a minute. Then, then neither then is somebody yeah. else. No, no. Oh, what were you sure? I'm Allison? in the middle. I'm 15. She's There's 15. 15 Steve, you're not in this. Uh, uh, <clears throat> the answer is 25%. Woo! Oh. So close. Sounds so like close. Rob took that one. Oh, I just missed it by 3%. It was, if we were doing closest without going over. Oh, okay. We're doing that. All right. Well, yeah. congratulations. Good job, Allison. Wait, I want to see wow. all my points. 4,200. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I went too far. And, and doesn't Steve have to go down to zero and Rob goes to a dollar? I can't do Rob to a dollar, but... <laughs> I can you make have that to, happen. You, you just have to do this, don't you, Allison? Uh, it's okay. Wow. You, you, She's such a gracious winner. I, go ahead and screenshot it, Allison. We know you want to. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Everybody smile at the screen. Good thing I she will, doesn't uh, gloat. I'll take a, a good screenshot here, and then I'll pass smile, it. Smile, Bodie. <laughs> well, everybody, wow. thank you. This wasn't even like doing a show after a while. I forgot we were recording. So... This was a lot of fun. That was fun. It was fun. And it's not staged. We actually all did end up, you know, the last person to answer correctly was going to win. That yeah. Point, you know, it just worked that out that worked way. Out pretty, uh, pretty well. It was pretty good. Well, I, I cheated it. most of the way through, but Meh. what are you going to do? It's not the end of the world. What did you use to create this? This is cool. I Well, I don't want to tip it because I was going to give it some, uh, give you some holiday content, uh, but oh. uh, TriviaMaker.com. Okay, I think it was uh, 25 bucks for the year. And then oh, wow. I use this. Uh, well, I haven't used it yet. I've, I've used uh, Google Slides for quiz shows at work to teach new guys new things and to uh, prove that new guys, old guys don't know as much as they think they do. <laughs> but uh, and gals. But yeah, 
So TriviaMaker.com, if anybody wants to put one of these together for their family holiday get-togethers, be fun. They have like a Wheel of Fortune type game. They have all sorts of stuff on there. It's neat. Yeah. You're going to do that with your family? Oh, well, so Sierra's family comes over for the holidays, which is great. Or not Sierra's family, but Sierra's boyfriend, Brad, and his family comes over for the holidays. And his family, sweetest family in the whole entire world, they are so competitive. I did something similar to this uh, on Easter. And um, it was very short because I didn't think anybody would want to play. And Brad's dad was like, wait, we're, we're done. He's like, I only got one round. <laughs> oh, so, I'm sorry. Oh. So we might do it. Yeah. I, I would, I, I would just, uh, I'm not going to tell my wife about it. I'm just going to say, Hey, would you guys like to play a, a, a quiz game quiz show? And cause I have buzzers. I actually bought like mechanical buzzers. Oh my goodness. So you might want to do a, a few rounds. Yes. I, I thought this would go, I was like a minute, maybe 45 seconds per question. So I was like, that'd be just 28 minutes, not uh, one hour and 12. So. Well, we were yeah. throwing a little snark in there. No, I enjoyed yeah. it. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. I appreciate everybody for coming on and being so generous with their time. Why don't we go around the horn here and you can tell everybody where to find you and what cool podcasts you are involved in or YouTube channel. Go ahead, Allison. I am Allison Sheridan of the No Silicast Podcast. It's my flagship show. You can find everything good at podfeet.com. Fantastic. How about you, Steve? Well, uh, you can't find me at any podcast, although I do, I do help Allison out occasionally with some videos. But if you want to find me on the socials, I'm at SP Sheridan at most places. Or you Steve cool Sheridan YouTube on YouTube. Too. Yeah. Steve Sheridan. Are you YouTube. SP Sheridan on YouTube? Either one. They both work. Perfect. And Rob. And I am at Rob Dunwood, spelled really weirdly, both first and last name, <laughs> on all the things. And uh, I am the host of the Tech John, one of the hosts of SMR Podcast, co-host of Daily Tech News Show, and one of the hosts of Daily Tech Headlines. Yes, Rob's very busy. Rob's very busy. Rob, can we tip our hat? Can we? Can we? Can we? Uh, maybe tease something we're working on together. I think we can. All right. I think we. I think we. So can. back in October, I I messaged Rob and I said, "Hey, would you like to come on and uh, be on a show with me, where we interview creators like Allison and Steve?" But I don't know if Steve would come on. But we know where we're. Um, but the the whole point of this show would be for. Rob and I to sit down with the creator and learn from them all the things they did right, all the things they did wrong, to help other creators who may, you know, want to be, like leave their jobs and and become full time creators. So we are currently in the middle of getting that show ramped up. Oh, how fun! I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, we've been working on it. What would you say, Bodie? Probably six, seven weeks now. It's been a yeah, minute. Yeah, I uh, so I was on vacation. I messaged Rob when in October, I think, at the beginning of October. And when our first meeting, he said, when do you think we can start doing interviews? And I said, probably the beginning of November. And we are at the <laughs> middle of November, and we are almost ready to start doing interviews. Wow. So, Do you yeah. have uh, any feeling for when you may release your first show? Or is it too soon to estimate? Uh, right now, I'm thinking it's going to be January based on when – we're going to be able to record and edit everything, but Rob, do you, do you okay. have different thoughts? Yeah, I, I think sometime in January is probably a good, a good guess. So this would be just but like our uh, podcast, but, lots of planning and no, thought. No, this is <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, th this is yeah, this is like the other world of you know compared to that. So no, we are we're definitely putting some thought into it. And, you know, we, we want to make sure that, you know, we've got our, you know, our P's and our, what, what, what is that phrase? Your, 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 your T's and your, your I's dotted, your T's crossed. Is that, is that how it goes? Yeah. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we have all of those kind of good things done. 
And we want to have really good conversations. It's, it's not just to tell folks, here's how you build a podcast. Here's how you build an email newsletter. Here's how you do this. It's really trying to get folks to, you know, kind of open up about what they believe has made them successful. And then Bodie and I on the back end are going to see if we can tie any commonalities into the, you know, the, the, the multiple people that we talk to It's like, okay, here's a common theme amongst folks who have seen success and whatever type of content creation journey that they're on. Hmm. And, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, listeners, watchers will be interested in that type of thing. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. There you go. Thank you everybody so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. All right. That was fun, Bodie. Thanks, Bodie. Enjoyed yes, it. Yes, it was. It was an absolute blast.